Hey guys, today I'm going to unbox and give a quick overview of the best budget microphone that is the BM800 Studio Microphone. I got this from Amazon.in. If you guys are planning to buy one, I have dropped the link in the description below for you guys. But before ordering, make sure you watch the entire video to know why I chose BM800 over the Snowball Eyes. Now let's quickly jump into the box and see what we have got inside. Opening the box, at first we have got some paperwork that is the warranty information and the details regarding the broadcasting and recording of the microphone. If you are interested, you can pause the video and go through it. Moving on, we have got the XLR cable which connects your microphone to the computer directly or through the phantom power. Under the cable, we have got the microphone itself. The build quality is amazing, it has got the full metal build and it doesn't feel cheap at all. We can remove this part here like this. Now, I have seen other BM800 microphones which used to have a slot for double A sized batteries here. But this is the new version, this will take the entire power from the phantom power or the sound card of your computer. Next we have got the wind filter which goes into a microphone like this. I think this helps in reducing the wind noise if any while recording but I'm not 100% sure because there aren't many costly studio microphones which comes without this wind filter. Anyway, moving on at last we have got the shock mount. This is used to delete the vibrations caused by the flow or the table if you're using any stand for your microphone. So that is all uh, we get inside the box. Now let me explain why I think this is the best microphone to start with for any YouTube beginner. Before that let's keep this box aside. Okay, now before ordering this microphone I did lots of research about which microphone is best for a YouTube beginner like me. I was confused between the two microphones, the Snowball Eyes from Blue and the BM800 condenser microphone. If you guys know, Blue Snowball Eyes is a USB plug and play microphone, it does not require any other external amplifiers and in fact it has got the best reviews on Amazon. I was pretty much convinced and placed an order for Blue Snowball Eyes on Amazon. The only reason I chose Snowball Eyes over BM800 is because in the description of the BM800 condenser mic, they had clearly mentioned that a phantom power is required for BM800 mic to work properly. I was not willing to invest again on the phantom power, so I ordered the blue snowball eyes. Now you guys might be wondering how I got the BM800 mic even after ordering the snowball eyes. The reason behind this is, I placed the order for snowball eyes on 24th of April and Amazon was supposed to deliver the product on or before 11th May. But they failed to deliver on contacting the Amazon support, they asked me for the extension as the product was stuck in the customs and extended the delivery date to 26th May. I was not interested in to wait so long so I cancelled my order and continued my research to find out different ways to connect the condenser microphone without the phantom power. Finally I came across a cheap USB sound card audio adapter, this helped in connecting the condenser microphone to my laptop without the phantom power and it worked pretty much as expected. In fact, I am recording this using the same BM800 microphone connected through a sound card. I know this can do much better if connected through a phantom power but I don't regret my decision of choosing this over the blue snowball eyes because after some days I can buy the phantom power and get the best audio quality compared to any other USB microphone. And as of now, this microphone costs almost 2500 Indian rupees less compared to Blue Snowball Eyes. So that's it, guys. This is why I chose BM800 condenser microphone over the Blue Snowball Eyes. If you guys enjoyed my video, then go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading videos frequently from now on. So if you don't want to miss, then make sure you subscribe to Tech Overdose. That's it for now. Thanks a lot for watching and hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you.